This video was originally recorded live over on Daz Let's Plays. Come join us next time. Oh, nothing, nothing happened? No gold? No gold. Hmm, maybe I did it wrong. Oh well, let's go to Six Dusty Barriers of Flame. Sounds romantic. So I saw someone comment being like, he rarely reads the chat. I, I read the chat a lot, I just don't reply a lot. It's more the fact of, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to respond. I'm not very good at social interact. Okay, so this place looks a little bit charred and we have yellows and rocks. Okay, three rocks because same freaking mistake happens every time. Hmm. Does the block... Ah, oh, yes, because it takes out oxygen. Yes. Pro tip, if you've got a fire, deplete its oxygen. Cover it by a pan or something. Unless it's really big, in which case, you know, you have no choice but to get a really big pan. So, um, yeah, pro tip. That's how you survive a fire. And also, don't forget your um, stop, drop, and roll, which never got used in, in real life, but at least thankfully for me so far. But still, um, actually... I guess I'll drop down on that and fix that, and then fix the other one. Okay, that makes sense. Gosh, it's weird. We're in a lethal area, and we can't actually deal with the fire right now. Oh. Uh, oh. That's... I throw them over and I glide over myself? Come off. Oh, oh, I guess that works too. And I go under. This is a cool... Look at this! This is cool. I like this. Actually, it's quite hot, and it's cooling. But, you know. Oh my gosh. I love seeing the elements put, you know, extra advantage. Oh no. Pikmin, no! Oh. They did monsters. Eight individual monsters. A bit more than, okay. Give me that old saw. Thank y'all. Okay, so I can't fall down to the early bit. Fly smacker. One of us seems to see the same things and then always switch what he thinks it is. Like, nothing's a series, you know? One day it looks like a teapot, the other day it's a, a something or other, you know? Also, I might have just killed my other. No, they, they, won't, they, they won't be dead. But they are lost. So, um, come here. There you are. So then, this spot. Let me go up. Yeah, anyone know what I mean? You know, get what I'm saying there? Go under? Under? Was this a path we didn't see earlier? No, no. Oh, it's a... Okay, it's a door. We'll come back to it later. I'll look out for a door. Okay. I got you now. I'm just learning. Okay. Ooh, what is that? An eggplant? Oh, it's it's filled with water, so it will make things, you know, not be fiery anymore. Sounds logical. Oh, I probably just need to whistle those guys, and they'll do it for me. That's a few more than four, but okay. This place is covered in rocks and nothing else. All right. Okay, so that's another area we'll come to soon enough. If I go left from up high. I think. Okay. This takes me back where I was. That is not a vine that comes down. These grasses almost look spiked. These grasses. Grass looks almost spiked. There we go. This is going to take me through a room and then back to the other spot with the, the pushable block. Yes. These rocks just all disappeared for that cutscene. The game could do a bit more polishing, but it's not an official, fully first party Nintendo game, so I guess it makes sense. It's pretty good, for the most part, though. Certainly not terrible. I'm enjoying it. The, the, the guy immediately turns away the other way, huh? Okay. I like that the, uh, people still... 
nice attention to detail. Sure, nice continuity. Oh, come on! Freaking yellows went too far because I'm not used to their projectile thing. That's kind of a bummer in this because it's 2D platforming. How far they throw actually matters. Whereas like before, you could still it would still land where you aim. It just had a higher trajectory of how it got there. You know, it's hard to get used to this. But I'm not quite used to it. Especially when I'm spamming and haven't used yellow Pikmin in like three sectors. Cool. Here we go. Now we're gonna crush them. We're gonna crush them real good. We're gonna get ourselves our second treasure. Unless there's no treasure, in which case, I wasted all my time. All my time. I'm an old man now. I don't like the fiery busyness that is the modern society world. I just wanna crush all those people that didn't like the old ways. Including me. Because I, I, I didn't like the old days back when they were, you know, youthful. I wanted to be in the future, and I didn't like it. I don't know where I'm going with that line of dialogue, but... Whoa! Oh. <laughs> well, whoever was fourth was terrible at climbing that wall. They were like three Pikmin behind. Not good. Well, here you go. I will manually throw you all up there for you. So this gives us access to the other part of the northern part, I guess. And hopefully there's not a treasure where I stopped and turned back. If not, I guess I could go back for it. See if I can be bothered to. Right. This gotta be... Oh! I see that cartridge now. Anno Land? Wario Land! Mario Land? Wario Land. Super Mario Land? Someone just depict that for me. I think it's Wario Land. But I could be wrong. Also, actually, I don't want to go this way anyway because that guy's... What is the correct line of action? Yeah, it's just take it and run. Timing worked fine, though, so we're okay. Enduring partnership. Mm-hmm. Is that talking about Mario and Daisy in that then? I don't know. I don't know. Donkey Kong Land. Is that a thing? Right. Come on, everybody. We're going to crush another one of our good friends. No, we're not, because we're going to miss. Oh, no. Okay, good. They look so horrified, though. That's not the best thing. Um, I can't get up here, can I? No, I can't. So then it's a waste. Oh. Uh, duh! I forgot that bit of life. Okay, that's one route. Okay, I thought so. Burning. There's an exit. Lovely. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, that's so... Oh! <gasps> it's not an instant lethal death! Is that our first one? Our first non-lethal immediate hazard? Good lord. Okay. Good. Good. What is this where I was before? Possibly. This might be when we crossed a bowl. Uh, it. Blow it. And then we went right here. Yeah. We wouldn't have gotten the second treasure because we didn't find the other route. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's a couple sparking seeds to the right. Yeah, let's take them since we're basically at the end now anyway. So we're not going to lose a lot of time doing this. Not a big deal, but we also are missing that third treasure still. But it's past where we just were. It's probably still grabbable. Humidi humidi ha, humidi ha, humidi humidi ha. Um. Yep. To the left, I guess. Unless this is going to be a secret exit, then ruins my entire plan for this place. And fiery bulb, bulb. No, no, just a. A light bulb that looks a lot like the plant water that we saw just earlier. Okay. Creativity stimulator. I could understand that, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Take it. Yeah, I, I don't know really what else to add on to that. I'm a creative person, but I was trying to think how lighting might affect things, but not to me personally. Oh, I guess colors are not nice. Save. Save yourselves. I don't know. I don't have anything to add on to that, I'm afraid. 
Talk, talk to me about food and I'll tell you what. I've only started cooking properly, like, oh, not even that. I've only just started cooking full stop since this year, since moving into this new house, because I wasn't really able to access the kitchen in my last. And there's so much food that I want to eat now that I haven't eaten because I just didn't eat a lot of diverse things as a kid because I was such a fussy eater. And now it's like, I want fish cakes and I want fish and I want liver sausage and I want meat and salt and no pepper actually I'm still not a fan of pepper but I want pizza and I want I, well I've always had pizza but still gosh food give me food I love food it's my current obsession right now fish mostly uh, the Pikmin will probably be scared of me with how much I like fish especially the blue ones anyway uh, Captain Anamara thought you might like to know when the big back cool we will read the logs can you try cooking some bread I mean I I have toast all the time I literally, I literally had toast and a liver sausage sandwich for lunch, like a couple hours before the stream started. Anyway, fly smacker. Its wide frame and solid construction make it perfect for smacking down pesky flies. Oh, is an abundance of this tool the reason I haven't seen any normal sized flies on this planet? Oh, 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 oh. Enduring partnership. Oh, it is Donkey Kong Land. That's a thing? Oh! Oops, I thought that was a joke. Um, retrieving this object from its perch, you can see Donkey Kong's on it. Uh, retrieving this object from its perch amid blazing fire was especially tricky. I almost sweated through my suit, and a couple of the SS Dolphin 2's circuit boards were nearly fried. Later, the SS Dolphin 2 told me that it never doubted we'd pull through because we make such a good team. It seemed out of character for it. Could it have been inspired by the teamwork shown on the object? Hmm. And the creativity stimulator. This prototype artificial sun barely <laughs> emits more light than a candle. A nice thought, but whatever on this planet invented it clearly had a long way to go with the idea. The Pikmin are quite the inventors in their own right. They can turn anything into a toy. The other day I saw them amuse themselves by taking turns whacking this object with sticks. That's a, a nice little, um, I guess, self-reference. Was it uh, the prototype artificial sun, which is exactly what... The sh uh, one of the treasures was in Pikmin 2, when you defeated the man at legs, you got another light bulb called, uh, well, I can't remember what it was called. You got a light bulb when the ship was like, I will combine this with the artificial sun I have been creating, or whatever. So it's literally harkening back to that, which is nice. Although that one made caves brighter, I don't think this is going to do the same. Even though technically I guess it would be more watts, but, ah, well. We, we won't think about watts. Watts is about another, uh completely different let's play I'm doing right now. Right, let's go to Pikmin Park. Yay! And... Final treasure. Yeah! That looks like an image, but alright. Slightly, slightly distorted. Captain Onima! The Pikmin have found a treasure! I'm almost finished with the analysis! This should yield, oh very nice, that's 800 more sparklium. Finished exploring the park. Hmm? It's weak, but they'll send some sparklium here. Let's keep checking in once in a while. We might be surprised at what the Pikmin might find. Okay. Um, here? I'll leave them there for now, they get to have a rest like that blue Pikmin that was on the floor for a moment. Yeah. Detecting a large amount of sparkling inside, you guessed it, a large indigenous creature. Is there anything on this planet that doesn't look like food to its inhabitants? Ooh. Alright, well we will do that in a moment. First, we want to go to 6-X. And also claim our treasure that we just got from the Pikmin Park. Oh, that's a big fire. I mean, I know exactly what's behind it, but still. Ugh. Okay, quick. Treasure right at the end. The final treasure in the game, I guess. Oh no, not quite. The sunglasses were. Uh, apotheosis of balance. I've always been careful when it comes to balance. Work and life, dinner and dessert. If you don't give each side its due, everything falls apart. But even I've never achieved a balance as perfect as this big ball mounted on the giant hammer. If I could get on top of it and stand on one foot for an hour, would I achieve enlightenment? Who knows? <laughs> 